hate Mondays. Oh well, time to get ready for work. Let's see what's on TV. I'm here on 4th Street, where there have been a series of four killings. The victims, a family of four. The police are still continuing their investigation. Wow, that doesn't sound good. I hate the news. All it plays is negative stuff anyways. Hey, did any of you see the news report this morning? Yeah, I did. That was scary. It's just so close to home, you know? I'm a little freaked out. Don't worry, the police will catch this guy. They always do. I'll watch one more episode, and then... Same crap, different day. Ugh, what the? That hurts. How did that happen? No, that doesn't make any sense. There's no way. Again. What happened this time? Another day, another tragedy. Today, the serial killer has struck again. This time, the victims being two college students. But once again, the police are stumped. What do the college students have to do with this family of four? What's this guy's deal? The victims have nothing in common. Jeez, another night, another murder. What's the deal with this guy? Yeah, I know, right? I must have checked to see that my doors were locked like four or five times. And the windows. Yeah. yeah. The police need to work quicker. They haven't gotten any DNA or evidence. I heard that they did get DNA. Really? I heard that the guy scraped his arm on a door or something and they got blood from him. Good. I guess that means we'll be safe soon. I gotta get out of here. How did this happen? What the heck is going on? It's not possible. Normal people don't kill people and not remember it. No, that's wrong. Normal people don't kill people to begin with. I must have fallen off the bed or something. Oh well, better find my phone. Gotta call Callie. Screw it, I'll find it after I get ready. Oh, can't find my phone, my back hurts from the floor. Something is very, very wrong. This can't be my blood. I don't, I don't feel any pain. It's, it's impossible, what happened? I know what to do. The biggest tragedy of them all occurred last night when eight people fell victim to who the police are now calling the Nightmare Killer. The victims include a family of five, two elderly, and a woman who had been a fiance to her boyfriend for three years. This case is proving to be mu too much for the police to handle. What can I possibly do? So, what do you think? It doesn't look too good for you. Based on everything you told me, I'd say that you have a classic case of sleepwalking. Well, is there anything I can do to stop it? Or, I don't know, prevent it? No, it's really just one of those things that you have to get through. Any more questions? <laughs> no, that's all for now. Thanks for the help. That's it. I'm done being afraid of sleep. I'm going as far and as fast as possible tonight. I can't fall asleep. I gotta get far. I can't fall asleep. I gotta get far. I can't fall asleep. I gotta get far. I need to get out of here. I can't afford to be caught. I need to take some time off in a place that's unfamiliar. Alone. I need to be alone. 
Okay, do I have everything? Toothbrush, wallet, clothes, socks, charger. Hey Vic, how you doing? Well Vic, we got some bad news. Some real bad news. The couple you killed last night, yeah, they're home at cameras. Once we saw your face, it was all over. Your reign of terror is gone. No, no, you don't understand. I was asleep, okay? I didn't kill anyone. All we do believe is this. Bring it in, Larry.